Hey everyone, it's the set here and welcome back to another video on my channel. If you're new here, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you will be notified on when I upload. So, I'm super excited because I finally got my Alex drawer unit. So hyped for this because now I can really organize my section and corner and just make it look exactly kind of how I want it a little better. Um, if you guys have not seen my previous video of what my nail corner looks like i will leave that link above but since i am upgrading there's like so much stuff that i have in my corner it's just like boxes on the floor and stuff like that i'm actually going to show you what it currently looks like because i don't have any space to put this so that's why i'm so hyped for these drawers to come but yep i will spin you guys around right now and show you what that is looking like all right, you guys, so this is what it is currently looking like. I did end up investing in a ring light because I just needed more light in the area, but that's probably like the only thing that's new from my last video. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, I have a ton of boxes that are just thrown back here, and I have like nowhere to put none of these items. So I'm super hyped that I finally got my storage units. My Alex draw units. Um, this ended up becoming a hot mess as well. I gotta clean that. This is just random junk. A lot of this is like PR packages or like nail hauls that I've done. That I, that just doesn't fit in there. Uh, some of these drawers ended up becoming. Yeah, I don't. I don't even want to talk. About it. I'm so upset at how they look right now. <laughs> I end up throwing a lot of junk on this back section as well. So I'm hoping once I build this. There will be a lot less of that, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do now and hope I could do everything today. Um, I am in fucking shock. I did not know this shit was gonna take that long to fucking build. Sorry that I'm cursing so much, but lordy. Oh my god, it looks beautiful, but this is just one. It took me like close to 45 minutes just to build this thing. No, it was more than 45 minutes. That is crazy. Oh my god, so I'm actually gonna wait for my hubby to come home because I already told him I need your help building the other one because... I need a drill. I didn't have a drill. So yeah, I'm gonna wait for him to come. And yeah, he he's gonna have to do the other one because I can't. All right, you guys, so it is day two. Um, my hubby ended up building the second storage unit. It was it just took so long. So this is what the space is really looking like. Um, we are on our way right now to this is the second one here we're on our way right now to get a wardrobe that i'm actually going to put here so this is going to move and then we have to go to bj to pick up some stuff so we're going to go do that it's now funny because i honestly thought i was going to be able to do everything in one day but yeah that clearly was not the case <laughs> all right so we are back i am totally out of breath um this is the unit that was given to me by my best friend and we're gonna try to build it they took it apart some of the pieces did end up getting damaged but oh, i'm out of breath we're gonna put it together and then i hope it's going to look good in this corner. Everything is a hot mess. We just came from BJ, so there's like food and everywhere, but yeah. All right, you guys, so it is actually day three. Um, a lot, it, it took us a while just to build the wardrobe. So this is what it is like. This is the wardrobe piece. Don't mind how 
but you can't really tell but it is filthy the mirror uh, my corner is still looking a little bit like a hot mess so i have my other dresser here my alex draw unit so i am just going to clear that whole back side add my units and then start filling in these drawers finally um so for this i'm actually gonna keep this like this and just clean it up and make it look a little prettier um but for this cart itself i'm gonna empty everything completely and add it to these drawers i'm thinking also about i don't know if i said it already but rearranging some of these drawers and just seeing and playing with the whole system on what's gonna work best for me uh but yeah i'm hoping finally today i'll be able to get it done and then i do need either a picture or some kind of artwork up here because it just looks crazy i gotta patch that up but so far it's not bad So for the lining of the drawers, I like to use this Gorilla Grip liners. Draw liners, got these off of Amazon, and of course, I got them in pink. Um, so at this point, my son ended up seeing what I was doing and he wanted to help. So for the first draw, I ended up putting all of my Light Elegance, which contains all of the glitters as well as the solid colors. I use a lot of different types of storage systems in these drawers, so I will link everything on my Amazon storefront. Going down to the next draw, this is everything from my custom colors. Um, I do have two different styles of jars because as you guys know, if you do watch my channel, I did ran out of some of those jars and they were and they did end up being sold out. So I did have to get another um, jar. For the next draw under that, I decided to go in with my branded gel polishes, well gel colors, which is Model 1s and Savvy Land. The next draw, I decided to put in my marble inks, any kinds of little artwork like my clear jelly stamper, as well as some 3D carving gels and then some spider gels. The next draw, I wanted to haul all of my powders, so I ended up using these containers. And this container is a jewelry container that I got off of Amazon, but I wanted to put my mirror chrome powders in these little compartments. Um, I also have my pastel chalk, my mecha pigment powders, my um, glow in the dark pigments, as well as these neon pigments. Majority of these pigments I use to make my custom colored hard gel i think these little containers work perfectly for what i needed it for that last draw i decided to keep empty and then moving on to the next storage system for that first draw i decided to put all of my swarovski crystals as well as any kind of embellishments the next two draws is going to hold all of my glitters i got these containers off of ikea got this idea off of tilia's nail tail she is great when it comes to organization so a lot of the things that i use came from her channel the first four rows are all of my set snail coat glitters. I did try my best to keep them in color order, but since they are mixed glitters, it was kind of hard, so I am going to have to redo a lot of these drawers. Um, that last row, this is all of my Kitty Claws glitters, and then I just threw in some Shein glitters off to the side. The next draw, I put in all of my other glitters that came either from Michaels, Amazon, Shein. I like to keep them in these smaller containers, and then off to the side is just more glitters that I need to repot. This draw contains all of my sequence glitters, whether it's flowers, butterflies, for you. I just added the draw physically inside because that's going to be a totally new project that I have to redo so that will be definitely another video for this draw I decided to make this my photo prop draw so it's all of my papers Halloween flowers hearts anything that I use for backdrop stuff 
I didn't want to leave the top of the table empty so I did add a couple items on top um, just to make it look a little decent don't mind that empty picture frame I will fill it with something really soon I do have a lot more organization to do within these drawers so I didn't bother labeling the drawers yet I really wanted to make it exactly how I want and then go back and label it once I have everything organized I will do another video showing each and every single drawer that I have all right, you guys, so this is what it looks like. I am, like I said, want to hang something up there, patch that up. <laughs> um, but yeah, I am super happy with how it looks so far. This I kind of just threw on just to make it look like something, but I'm probably just going to leave it bare, just leave a couple things on it um this cord if you guys was wondering i had another nail lamp and i was just able to plug it in and then you know use that for this side and i'll end up having one on both sides but i just took it out because i'm currently only doing myself right now and i just i just wanted it off my table um as far as the little cart that i had on this side i ended up sticking it in here So it actually fit nicely in there, but I was able to get everything out of here into those drawers. And the only one that I had left is this because I wanted it to stand up in um, my drawer so I could read the label. So that's probably going to go into the other attic drawer, but I like the fact that it fits in here. Yeah, but that's it. I still have a couple more organization um, things to do. So that's going to be another day because I am tired. But I like how it looks. All right, you guys. So it is actually a couple days later. Um... I've actually kept cleaning out some of my drawers and I've actually got a good amount of poly gel that I no longer need and I get a lot of comments stating that for me not to throw them away, for me to give them to somebody, so I thought this would be a great time to do a quick little giveaway. If you guys are interested in receiving some of these items that I don't use or want, um, a lot of it is poly gels that I either did a review on or did um, a set on my practice hand um, of course I'm going to replace any items that are not sterile sterilized like you know the nail files and stuff uh, but let me know if you guys are interested in receiving some of these items um, leave a comment down below your thoughts it's like poly gel I have a couple kits of gel polish um, I think I have like two extra lamps that I don't need. So it, some of it is going to be a little bit of knickknack stuff. But this is great for people who are beginners or who just want to practice when it comes to like poly gel, even nail polish. Practicing nails in general on yourself. Um, I'd rather give it to somebody who wants it and is going to put it to use than throw it in the trash. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think think of this idea if I should do it or not and if you are interested just leave a comment down below and I will whip something up real fast uh, but yeah this is going to be the end of this video let me know what you guys think of this style of video I guess you would call it a vlog I don't know like it might be a mixture of stuff clean with me I don't even know what to name this right now but yeah with that being said, as always, thank you everyone for taking time out to watch this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please be sure you guys are following me on all of my social media accounts. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Um, I am in fucking shock. Lordy! Because I can't. Day two. Day three. <laughs> what?